and also got a um, well an alcohol free beer review actually got a can of guinness 0, 0.0 which is the well alcohol free version of guinness believe it or not um, <laughs> um Sounds sad, but I've actually been wanting to try this for a while because I've actually heard it's a pretty decent non alcoholic beer. Like, you know, Guinness is a pretty average beer, let's be honest. It's sort of like the beer you drink if there's not really any good options <laughs> at a pub. You know, it's sort of your fallback option, but, you know, it's solid enough. It's it's palatable. You know, it's you, you can't really go wrong with one. You know, as good as sort of big mass produced corporate macro beer can be. So, yeah, it, you've got a um, kind of the uh, 0, 0.0 version. Um, never had this, like I said. You know, I've yet to have the only real alcohol free beer I've had. Oh, I say alcohol free. This is actually proper, almost proper alcohol free. It's 0.0. Not five percent. It says no more than not point not five percent. Most are sort of around not point five percent. I think then they're classed as non-alcoholic. This is actually classed as alcohol-free at that, at less than not point not five percent. I think that's what it is. So lucky saints, the best I've sort of had, which I did review on the channel. That was actually a pretty decent beer. I tend to stock up on that quite regularly, as if I want like a beer in the week. Um, I'm building this in week. Maybe this could be a different option because, yeah, saw this in Tesco's. I thought I'd give it a go. So, yeah, uh, I think it's a widgeted, hard pour sort of thing. It says draft. So, we'll find out, won't we? Ooh! I'm going to say yes, that has got a widget in it. Christ! <laughs> What's this stuff? It smells like in it. God, got some clean up to do after this. Right. So actually, <laughs> I'm going to apologise in advance to the Dirty Glass Mafia. I have not used this glass in probably years, um, so it's probably going to be it's probably going to be disgusting. Lots of bubbles and stuff. Um, I did give it a rinse out, but it probably won't be enough as it's not been given a proper sort of. So I'm like I said, I'm assuming this is a uh, nitro, I think, by the uh, opening. And yeah, it's certainly pouring like one. Can I quite get the whole can in? I might do, you know, I might do. No, not quite. I think there might be a little drip left. But look at that, it certainly looks like... Uh, like Guinness, doesn't it? When it settles, it's got that same sort of uh, liveliness when it first pours, a little, you know, that creamy white head. Yeah, so a good start. Yeah, like I said, I did sort of slurp a little bit. Probably not the best impression from the sort of lid of the can, so I won't judge not too much. And it smells good, all right, though. I mean, yeah. Pretty much, it pretty much just smells like Guinness, to be honest. You got a sort of like malty coffee, slight chocolate <laughs> sort of smell. It's like licorice. Pretty much just typical Guinness smell, really. But I mean, look, it looks the part, doesn't it? It absolutely looks the part. You know, it looks like a proper Guinness. Maybe it maybe smells a little bit more sort of. Fruity, I think, than maybe a normal one. But I haven't had Guinness from a can in a long, long time. You know, I've had it on draft quite, I say regularly. You know, whenever I go to like go out for a meal, like a shit chain pub or something, it's usually what I go to when the options usually like Green King, other options like Green King IPA or something. <laughs> or, um, you know, Stella and the likes. So, but. Yeah, it smells good actually. You know, like I said, I'm not. I'm judging this as an alcohol-free beer and as an alcohol-free Guinness. 
you know, I'm not judging this as, you know, it's not a single, like, you know, small batch craft double IPA or anything, you know, it's just, or even Imperial Stout or whatever, it's just, you know, it's just, it's an alcohol free stout from probably the biggest stout producer in the world, so, yeah, let's, let's dive in anyway. You know what? It's all right. It's all right. You know, it actually has a bit of body to it. You know, it's creamy. Maybe not as much sort of creaminess as standard Guinness, but you know, it's got some body to it. it still has that. Has that alcohol free taste that's ever so slightly you probably if you drink you know drank alcohol free beers you'll know the one i mean it's it's hard to describe it's almost like a i don't know like a it's like almost like a cereal grainy like a sweet grainy like taste That said, it does have the usual sort of Guinness tasty, you know, it's like coffee. Like a little bit of vanilla, sort of chocolate, licorice. It's like, but it's got slight fruitiness as well, which I'm sure is not quite as prominent in um, the standard Guinness. It's all right. You know, I bought a four pack and I will drink them other three. Because, yeah, it's all right. Is it as good as Lucky Saint? No. You know, I've, yeah, like I said, I think Lucky Saint is out there on its own in terms of sort of non-alcoholic slash alcohol free beers i haven't you know but it's a different style as well you know i do you know maybe i think lagers maybe perhaps a little bit easier to replicate than in than, in, than stouts perhaps especially as for stouts body is such a key thing but the body's not bad on this actually it's you know i had the alcohol free stouts and in the past you know i had that big drop one which i reviewed on the channel a while while back now and that was piss thin, to be honest with you. Um, well, it is thin, it's got a creaminess, so, you know, it's got something to it. It's all right. You know, it's a, it's a worthy option if you're driving. You know, it's not unpleasant. it's yeah it's perfectly fine you know if you're into your guinness you know it could be it, it could be a work, decent alternative if you, you're driving or just want to you know cut down your alcohol consumption or whatever to rate Um, it's tough to rate alcohol free beers. You know, I try, I try not to rate them too harshly because, you know, they're not, they are alcohol free beers. I try and take that into account. So, you know, it's going to get a rating would perhaps be generous if this was a 5% beer or whatever. Again, it's normally is 4.6, 4.2, whatever. So, you know, if this was an you know, as an alcohol free beer, this is probably you know, I gave I think I gave Lucky Saint a four out of five when I reviewed it on the channel. I think this 
It's not art level, but not as bad as some. Probably a, really, it's probably around the 3.25 mark in terms of rating. You know, if it was a, I guess an alcohol beer, you'd probably be looking at the, you'd probably be looking at maybe a 3, 2, 7, 5, 3. But, you know, it, it's quite diverse. It's better than some soft drink options and maybe gives you the illusion you're drinking the beer, scratches that itch, you know. So, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, and, you know, it's a worthy addition to the um, supermarket shelves. So yeah, pardon me. Any left in that? Yeah, no, no. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been a review of Guinness Draft 0.0%, an alcohol free version of Guinness. Please drop us your thoughts below. We've got like tons of balls in. You know, unlike a lot of craft ones, sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. Unlike a lot of the craft ones where they um, just, just actually just inject it in. <laughs> a little widget. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Please drop us your thoughts below, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, click the bell icon to be alerted of future videos, and hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.